So last but not least, the sound wa. And this is an extremely difficult sound for us Spanish speakers. Yes, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare to pronounce it. It's a nightmare to teach it. It's a nightmare. Uh, no, it's not that difficult, but we have to be careful with it. What happens? This sound is not used in Spanish. We do not use it. Uh, we use similar sounds, and that's the problem. We tend to mix it with sounds that come from Spanish. So, the sound is wa, wa, yeah? And you say, why bilabial velar? Bilabial, wa, wa. Remember, approximation, the lips don't touch. It's not wa, it's wa. But saying bois may be helpful for you. Bois, wa, bois, wa, bois, wa. That may be helpful for you to be able to produce it correctly. Okay, so wa. And why velar? Because if you pay attention, wa, wa, you low, you, you don't lower, but you, you, ah, you make the tongue and the, um, and the velum go very near. Wa, wa, sorry. Wa, wa. If you pay attention to the tongue, it comes to the back. Wa, wa. And near the velum. That's why we say it's bilabial velar. So, wa. Away, um, wagon, where, uh, wood, that's the problematic word we always teach and students tend to mispronounce. So, pay attention to this, wood, wood. Our problem does not come with where or away, yeah? We, we produce it okay and perfectly in those situations. But when we have wa and u, That's where we have the problem. We, because we tend to say wood. We, make, we put a G there. G, a G. Wood, wood. No, that's a big mistake. It's not wood. It's wood, wood. The tongue can't touch anything. Wood, away, where, whereabouts, warehouse. Uh, one, yeah, one. We are using the same sound. Wood would okay i would go to